Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm doing a tier list of the best diamond cards in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Trying to hit that mark by the end of uh, the month of February. So it's going to require about 60 subscribers a day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it we got about 35 to 40 of the best diamond cards in my team on this list to rank so without further ado let's hop right into it we'll start off with alonzo morning who is a really really good defensive big very good on the interior has a pretty solid release he's a nice card for his price but among the best of the best i think there are still a lot of diamonds better than him i think he is very solidly b tier if he had a better release maybe some better playmaking badges he'd be a little bit higher better shooting badges as well but he's certainly not a bad card at all even as a base card i think he's definitely very very solid at the center spot um but yeah i think he's a good card and i'm a fan so um and thompson i think would have to go s he does he's just so good defensively he's the, or he's the best probably point guard outside oscar robertson well the best diamond point guard anyway in the game um i think anyway because of his slashing ability his size and his defense he is a really versatile really really good card who i am very very high on at the point guard position on uh, i think he's definitely s tier very easily without a doubt uh iggy is pretty bad honestly he's one of the worst cards on this list in my opinion simply because his release isn't great he doesn't have great shooting bad he's a good slasher okay but not great playmaker and defensively he's good but not insane he doesn't have anchor doesn't have um interior bad maybe he has anchor on gold but he doesn't have speed booster at all he doesn't have um good shooting badges like he's he's release isn't great at the shooting guard position doesn't have fast twitch he's just missing a lot of like important ish things at the shooting guard position compared to the best shooting guards in the game i mean he's not an awful card but he's not great anton jameson has one of the worst releases that i have used all year i legitimately cannot stand anton jameson's release um it is one of the worst i i, mean, I hate the brook lopez base it literally ruins the card it makes him almost unusable to me i think on a list like this that is considering the best diamonds even though he's new he is one of the worst because of how poor his release is the rest of the card is not terrible but his the rest of his release i mean just everything else is just so everything else is solid but everything about the release is horrible and that right there is honestly a killer um anthony davis doesn't have clamps but he does have a nice release at power forward he's a good defender besides not having clamps he's athletic he can stretch the floor i like the card he plays center pretty well as well he's very good on the interior defensively but the lack of clamps is enough to hold him back for me i think b tier is fair i legitimately would put a sar c tier as well i just think his release is pretty bad his movement is pretty good but at the shooting guard position he plays a very important position to be super duper complete as an overall card compared to the best of the best and i just don't think a sar quite gives you that obviously if he is put with amen their duo does make them both better but overall i think he is much worse as a base card at least than a uh we're gonna have like seven ish s tier cards in this list maybe 10 7 to 10 somewhere around there i don't think it'll be quite that many but uh i actually think bam at bio at least has an argument for the top 10 he is really really close i'm gonna put him he's so good defensively and he's got a really good release but i'm still gonna put him a tier because he's only six foot nine and he's not the best playmaker in the world at the same time his defense is phenomenal he is a really really good card um and i love his release as well in the offensive end of the court i think he is super slept on at the power forward position i think he's one of the better power forwards in my team uh chris weber is another good power forward like he ad and uh, alonzo morning are all the same tier of card his release is kind of bad but he's a very good playmaker for a power forward uh i think he's actually very similar to jermaine o'neal a card as well as a pink diamond but uh i do think that this chris Weber is a pretty decent card i think b tier is fair he does everything pretty darn well i would say and his release isn't amazing but overall he's a pretty good card uh clyde drexler is going to be our first b tier uh, at the shooting guard position clyde has one really great thing going for him outside of his slashing his slashing is obviously elite he has pretty good all-around stats and badges yes but he doesn't have the interior defensive elite that is elite or agent three blinders limitless range but he has tray escape and a really good release so his movement is actually very nice combined with that nice release uh and then obviously he's also a very very good slasher super athletic big and six seventh shooting guard position there's a good amount to like about clive jackson there's some flaws as well for sure but i would still put him in the b tier i think d rob has to go s tier still he's one of the best centers in the game still to this day amazing release amazing defender um just does everything well at the center position gives you great size he's just a very complete very good center option in my team and still an s tier guy i think booker actually goes a tier at this point among the best of the best diamonds because of his lack of defense no that's a lie i'm still putting him s tier be no no, damn i can't have three pgs in s tier and i don't think he's the third I, I i don't think he's s tier honestly i'm putting him a tier i would actually 
No, uh, I, I think I would play Booker over Bam still. His offense is amazing, but there are at least two point guards that I like better than him out of the diamonds. And so to me, I think it might actually be, have to be A tier. As great as he is offensively, his defense is not amazing, and he is also not an exceptional slasher. He just has an incredible fade, incredible release, and some really good shot creation stuff with his push cross and stuff into that fade. But I don't know if he's S tier anymore. Dante DiVincenzo is definitely S tier. He has basically every single key badge. Pretty darn close to it. He's a great defender. He shot creates pretty well. He slashes okay. Uh, he's just really complex complete really really good uh i think he's a very very good card on the defensive and offensive end of the court to be honest gary payton he has a good push cross he's got off bulldozer his release is okay-ish and he's a great defender i don't love 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 the card though because his release i don't think is exceptional slashing wise i like the off bulldozer but he's still not the greatest dunker in the world i think defensively he is really really good ah uh, uh, a or b that's close for me i don't know i'm gonna probably go b i think for now because i just don't love the release as much Giannis is still s tier i think among the well i like bam out of bio more than i like Giannis. i'm moving bam up to s tier and i'm putting Giannis in a and i know that is such a controversial opinion probably for a lot of people because a lot of people would put Giannis over uh bam in fact i think almost everybody would i like bam's release better it release is super important to me at power forward i think Giannis is great but i think a tier is actually probably kind of fair he's on the borderline as well though he and booker both feel like they should be s tier to me but i'm putting them a for right now gilbert arenas is release stinks and he's not as complete as some of the best point guards on this list he's not a horrific card but i think c tier is probably fair for him uh, i also think c tier is fair for odin simply because of how poor his release is i think that really does hurt the card i don't think he quite gives you the verse versatility of guys like Alonzo AD and Chris Weber. So for me, I think C tier is totally fair there. Jack Sigma has an absolutely unbelievably elite release and he's a very good interior dunker and interior defender. I actually think he's a really good card, even though his stats aren't quite as elite as Alonzo's Weber's or AD's. I think his animations make up for it, especially that release. I legitimately would put him A tier. I think he's really, really good. Uh, James Harden has no defense, but he is still a great offensive point guard. He moves quite well, has an elite release, and he's a pretty decent slasher. And he's 6'5". Now, he's not a good defender at all generally that would be an automatic d tier but because he is good enough offensively i think you can argue c tier for him jason tatum really good all around shooting or small forward option i should say um shoots the ball well nice release does a lot of things really well on the court i think a tier is entirely fair he's very complete very versatile very very good card jonathan isaac definitely s tier for sure one of the best diamond cards in the game he is an incredible defender at the three or the four he's awesome he's a very athletic as well has a nice release and he's one of the best defensive cards in the entire game he's a really really good option at the three or the four and he's an elite tier card i think s tier is totally fair i think drew holiday is slightly worse than gary payton personally well those two guys are actually really close because drew has a better release uh and maybe a better fade although i think gary has a fine fade too gary is a better slasher his defensive badges are a little more complete I think they're both B tier. Honestly, at this point, I think this is actually a pretty fair spot. I think neither of them quite give me what I want offensively, but uh, Gary moves a little better too. Gary's probably a little better than Drew at this point, but those two guys are close. I think Kawhi is better than Tatum. I like him more than Tatum. If I'm going to have to move one of those guys down, it's going to be Tatum uh, because I think Kawhi is super solidly A tier. I don't know if I'd give him S tier anymore, but I still think he's a really good card. Lamelo's lack of defense puts him down pretty low, actually. I actually think C tier might not be ridiculously out of the range of possibilities. He had a good push cross, good release, and he's an okay slasher, but defensively, he's mediocre. I think he's a better card than a guy like Harden, though. I'll put him B tier, but I don't love the card. Latrell Sprewell, same thing. I mean, he's fine at shooting guard, but not a special at all. Honestly, he's missing too many key badges. I don't think he's any better than a Sar Thompson. I'd say he's probably C tier. I think that's totally fair. He's not anything special at this point. Uh, LeBron probably still deserves to be S tier. I just think his animations are so damn good and looking at this list if i'm gonna have like two more s tier guys after this i think this is pretty fair uh i think lebron deserves to be s tier 100 i think his release is still pretty good i think he's an incredible slasher i think he actually shot creates pretty well as well and he gets amazing defensive animations has just a massive player build he just gets incredible animations he is such a damn good card paulo boncaro is probably s tier i i ah i don't know i'm putting him a i'm putting him he gives you more versatility than uh, Apollo does, than Bam does as a shot creator, but Bam gives me more defense and interior ability, in my opinion. Those two guys are so close. I think I'm higher than Bam than the vast majority of the community, but I think I'm doing it like this. I'm putting Paulo high A. I think this is actually pretty fair because he doesn't have insane, insane defense. He is very athletic. He has a very large player ability, 6'10". He's got a pretty nice release. Doesn't have incredible shooting badges, though. I like Paulo a lot, but just like Giannis and D-Book, I think A is probably fair. Patrick Ewing, terrible release, good speed at center, good defender, good card, better with his duo, but not insane. I would put C tier. Peja's insane. He might be the best diamond card in the game right now. I'm literally not trolling. He's insane defensively. He's got an elite release. He's six foot ten. He dunks the ball pretty well. He's got good speed. He is so good and so complete. He is easily S tier 100%. Pa Penny Hardaway, I think 
but I would personally, I'm, I've, my, my opinion on Penny has improved as of late. I'm going to be completely honest. I like the card more than I used to. I think he's A tier. I don't think he's S tier, but I think he's very good at the point guard position. I think he's very, very solid. I would think A tier is very fair. I need some low tier guys. I'm realizing it. I don't know who I'm going to put down, down there. I think Harden because of his lack of defense and Gilbert because of his lack of release and his lack of size has to move down a little bit. Um, I think RJ Barrett is fine, but he doesn't have limitless. He's not an insane shot creator. He doesn't have anchor or uh, those types of interior badges. He doesn't have agent three. Playmaking is fine. Gold speed booster is good. He's a pretty good slasher. He's fine. I, I, C tier, B tier, meh. He's okay. I don't hate the card. Drex Chapman is not good defensively, but he's one of the best offensive cards in the entire game. But I honestly, the lack of defense, no clamps, no defensive badges at all. That's a D tier card, especially among the best, the best. I'm sorry. It's just a fact. Richard Jefferson is in the exact same boat as Anton Jameson. Great stats and badges on paper. One of the worst releases in the game at a position that it's important to have at least a solid release. That puts them both D tier to me, and I'm not kidding. I think they both suck because that. Well, Richards could argue because his ability to shot create and slash, you could argue him C tier. And I will say his stats and badges. He is not. He is not D tier, but his release is D tier. But at the same time, the card, I think he does squeak himself into C tier. Ron Artest, because of his elite defense and his elite release, is still A tier for sure. I wouldn't put him S anymore, but he's got an awesome release and he's a great defender. That is enough to still put him A tier to me. Serge Ibaka does actually crack the S tier to me, I think. Because great defense, great release. Well, no, he's A tier as well. I'm sorry. I'm moving him down. I just got to move some guys down, I'm realizing, because I don't like Iggy. I'm going to move him down. Uh, Penny's fine, but I, I want to leave him in A. I, I, a tier is too big right now, though. Who would I move down? I guess it'd be Tatum. Tatum is probably the worst of the A tier, I think. So I guess we'll move him into B. I think I'm trying to even this out a little bit too much, maybe. But I think that's this is a fair list. I think, honestly, SGA without significant badge upgrades is probably B at this point because his stats are just not good. He's not a great slasher. He's not super fast. He's not an insane shooter, and he's certainly not a great defender. He just gets every badge. So if you have a very badged SGA, he also has incredible animations, great release, really good movement. And all that type of stuff. He's still really good because of that, but at this point, I'm on the best of the best unless he's super badged. I think B is probably fair. Um, Sean Kemp, great release, or pretty good release. Grant Langford base is good. He's very athletic at the four. I think he's AD um, Weber Alonzo level for sure with his Evo, or with his duo, I should say, with Gary Payton. It, he's probably higher than that. I really like the card. I think he's pretty darn good. Him and his duo with Gary Payton, they're both very solid. I'd say B tier is fair. Tim Duncan is good. He defends well. He's got a nice nice enough release. Uh, he's not going to be putting the ball on the floor too much, but I think B tier is probably fair. I'm going to move somebody back up to A, and I guess it's going to be Tatum. I think that's probably fair. Uh, I forced him down into B tier, and I think that's probably a bad decision. Wilt will go D tier for me. He is bad. He can't shoot at the center position. That's just not going to work. I know he was a level 40, but he's just outdated at this point. And that finishes out this tier list. I know it's not incredibly even, but it's pretty good. And I think it's a pretty fair list. Let me know what y'all think of my opinion in the comment section down below. If there's any diamond cards that I left off the list that you'd like to hear my thoughts on, feel free to leave a comment as well. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.